Are you making the most of your LinkedIn profile? Do you even have a LinkedIn profile? Today, I brought in an expert. We're gonna be talking to Linda Waterhouse, who's an award-winning LinkedIn strategist who helps small businesses get noticed, get connected, and get clients. Welcome, Linda. Thank you, Lisa. Dan. If they do nothing else, they need to update their profile. Uh, in recent years, uh, Microsoft bought LinkedIn, and they've added a lot of new features that many people aren't aware of. And when our profile is up to date, with the latest things that we've done. And when you update it in a way to make you stand out, then your, resume, your LinkedIn profile goes from a resume to actually a client magnet. A client magnet, I like that. The profile, there, there are a number of places in the profile where it's very important to put our keywords because LinkedIn is kind of like a search engine and we wanna make sure that we can get found for the things that our potential clients are looking for. So for people who do not have a LinkedIn profile yet, it sounds like it really is a must have these days in order to be competitive and to be potentially found by Google or the other search engines. If we were to Google ourselves, most often our LinkedIn profile comes up on the first page of the Google results. And most of the time I have found that our LinkedIn profile comes up even above our website. So it's a great way to make a first impression. And if it's a good first impression or a not so good first impression can really depend on you know, how much effort we've put into our LinkedIn profile. Talking about top ways to use LinkedIn, Linda, what else do you have? Well, one of my favorite things to show people is how to stay top of mind in the right people, especially now during the lockdown and we can't go out to networking meetings. A lot of business owners were really um, scared about how are they gonna meet new people and how are they gonna stay top of mind with the people that they do know. Well, the good thing is that with just a little bit of effort, you can post on LinkedIn and just reach a wide audience because there are a lot of ways that uh, LinkedIn shows our name. Not only can we post, but there's also a lot of value to sharing and liking and commenting on other people's posts. Tell everybody why that is important to be engaging on LinkedIn. Say we, we are looking to meet or get in front of the director of a human resources department. So the best way to make them aware of us is to start looking at what they post. And, you know, authentically, again, we just don't want to, you know, do it randomly. We want to comment and like their posts because then they will see our name on our face and our headline and we will become more familiar to them. So that when we reach out, we have a little bit more credibility in their mind. It's just human nature that the more we see something, the more credibility builds. The best way to get people to know, like, and trust us is to attract, educate, and engage. Love it. Sounds like LinkedIn is an excellent tool that we all could and should be using. You also wanted to tell everybody about messaging. What do we need to know about LinkedIn messaging? Well, the great thing about messaging is that you can message people who you have a first degree connection with for free on LinkedIn. And so the way that you want to get a really good quality network is to really target and find the people that you want to connect with. LinkedIn has great search filters, so you can really identify who you would like to meet, search for those people, and then reach out and connect. Once your connection uh, request is accepted, then you can message them in the inbox for free and really start a conversation and build a relationship with them. We packed a lot into a short amount of time. Linda Waterhouse, a LinkedIn strategist. I'm so glad you're going to be with us for several segments here at the Help and Healing Hangout.